what keeps you going like if, during those dark moments during Ironman during training because there's a lot of sacrifice that goes into this is there something that you just kind of fall back on it's like what's like what's your why my why is to to challenge myself to be a better person So I didn't, I did not know that I was going to have a Kona spot until the ceremony. I was, I was an emotional wreck that morning. Second place was undecided and then I was in third place and we didn't know if we would get two th spots or three spots. So when he announced that 40 to 44 got three spots, they, I was, I was trembling. Like, when Rinny gave me the lay, like, I didn't even, like, I don't even know that I, I knew it was Rinny, right? But I didn't stop and get my picture with her, anything. And the next day, everybody's got all these pictures with Rinny, and I was like, I was just a trembling mess. Like, I didn't even bother. <laughs> I didn't do a coach this year. I decided to self-coach so that I sort of didn't have that pressure of having the schedule and making sure I had to do the run if I didn't feel good. Should I, sw you know, there was last year, there was all this, should I swap days? Should I not run, you know? And so I just didn't have any of sort of that pressure of being on a schedule. And I've just really approached it with enjoyment. Qualifying this year, it's a really big deal. Yeah, it, it's huge. It's been my dream. I have tears in my eyes thinking about it, thinking about going to Kona, yeah. I mean, I grew up watching it on TV. You know, th those images have always been in my head of people racing at Kona. And it really is, it's the holy grail for me. Yeah.